Hello everyone, it's nice to be here. It's very important to introduce yoga to our children. You know, I was introduced to yoga when I was very young, maybe seven years. Then I didn't want to do, I didn't want to practice yoga because all, all of my friends, they used to play cricket. Cricket is a very famous game in India. If you ask about cricket, you know, everyone gets very excited. Everyone in India gets excited. So all the boys wants to play cricket on the streets in India. So it's very, it was my passion too, wanted to play cricket. <laughs> but uh, my grandfather wanted me to practice yoga. I used to do a few postures and run away back to the streets to play cricket. So a few of my friends used to come from the back door. I think not all of you have been to India or Mysore. In the old shala, we had two doors, one in the front door, another one in the back door where all the students used to come to the yoga class. So all my friends used to come there and call me, Sharath, hey, come, let's, let's play cricket. So I was, I used to do a few postures and run away, play cricket. <laughs> so this is how I grew up and I did few, I did uh, lots of postures. It is very important for children. Why? Because nowadays they are getting so distracted with so many things. They are getting distracted with television, with social media, you know, young kid. When we were young, we didn't have cell phones. Now even my son, he's only eight years, he knows how to operate a cell phone, he knows how to download his favorite cartoon movie, a cartoon <laughs> movies and all from YouTube, you know, he knows everything. So it is very disappointing that to see, so that's why I have to take him. Uh, he goes for cricket, I take him outside, to make him play cricket and goes for swimming, all those things. So nowadays if you see uh, children, they are always in the computers, they are always in their cell phones, they are not active. Yoga is very important because it gives children a different kind of experience. It brings more focus in their studies, it gives good health, they are not sitting in one place. They are actively doing asana practice, which is very important for their future. When they grow up, they have to go through lots of challenges. Challenges physically, mentally. So these challenges, if they want to handle these challenges, now we all are, everyone is talking about stress. There's a big uh, debate going on how to manage stress. <laughs> this first we have to manage ourselves. If we manage ourselves, if we understand our body, our mind, our, this is what yoga teaches, how to manage ourselves. If we manage ourselves, I think we can manage anything in this world. So if, if we teach, if we program this to our children, if we give, give them good yoga practice, whatever challenges comes in their life, they'll be, it'll be easy for them to handle these challenges. So I think this is the reason why we should teach yoga to the children. They are not, not getting distracted by unwanted things. So that they can focus on their studies, they can focus on their future and be a good citizen of this world. That is also is very important. What spirituality means? Being a good citizen, be a responsible citizen, be responsible to this world. That is what we need to put to our children. So like by teaching yoga, we can teach them this.